Hey all, how are you? <coughs> um, just going to be working on my ZOHD Dart XL. Uh, just got some more parts in. I've got my uh, I've got my air speed my air speed sensor, Matek, and I also got another R, another R9 Slim. So today's video, I want to. I want to fit the slim and hopefully get it sort of sorted out in iNav. Last video I've um, I fitted the 1.2 gigahertz video transmitter. Yeah, so that's been fitted in. I've glued in and on this side here I'm going to put the R9 slim. So the plan is you got these little little foam pieces that come out. And that's the spot I want to. I want to fit the slim in, and I'll have my aerials coming out through the wing, just like I have on my other planes. Um, yeah, so this one's running the F722 wing board. Just in there, I'll put a I'll put a picture on the screen. You'll see it better. Uh, what I've done so far, I've I've mounted a GPS on the top here. Uh, that's all connected up. Connected up the two servos. And what I've also done with the wing is you've got these connectors here. This is one thing I really like about this about this plane. This is a good setup because I've got the servos connected into here and also the video the video transmitter as well, both come into here. And it automatically connects everything up. Um, as they're already they're already um, connected up onto the flight controller so that's a great idea I think I'm, I'd love to have that on more of my planes to be honest all right so let's see what we got here so like I said the receiver is going to mount in here sorry not that way it won't but it's going to mount somewhere like that so my wires will run along along this channel here there's a channel that, that's uh, already uh, been made and it'll connect up to this plug here. So what we've got to do, we've got to, we've got to pick out our, um, our our main wires here, our three wires, receiver wire, positive and negative to start with, and we'll put a we'll put a plug on that one. We'll put a plug on these so we can connect it all up and uh, just hot glue this one into here. First thing we want to do We've got to flash the firmware onto the R9 Slim. So what I what I've done, I've done it with my other other receivers too. I've made I had a spare connection plug here that I got with one of these R9s, and I've made up a, a little um, it's it's my flash plug basically. So to flash this, you basically you've just got to go to the FR Sky website and. Um, Go to the firmwares tab and, and download the firmware. So I use a Tyrannus here, X9D. So on the back of the Tyrannus there's a um, SD card. So you can either take the SD card out and put that in your computer or you plug your, com you plug your, um, your, your transmitter into the computer and download the firmware file for the R9 Slim onto the SD card in your transmitter. You take your module out of the back, obviously, and with the three pins you've got here, the bottom pin is your signal. The bottom pin here is your signal. The middle pin here, the second one from the bottom is your negative, and the third one from the bottom is your positive. So that's why I made this little, little cable up so I'd never get it wrong, because the positive's on the top. So we plug that in, I've got the firmware already on the SD card in the transmitter and we plug this in. Alright so we turn, in, turn on our, our transmitter, uh, we've got to hit the menu button and the page button. And then we go down into firmware, hit enter, 
Now this is on your SD card here. I've got all my firmwares for my other receivers also on here. So I go down to R9 Slim plus OTA. Mine's the ACC ST version. So we we'll select that. Now you've got a group of them here. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna try F port with this one. So I'm gonna run the uh, flex F port on this one. So hit enter. And flash it external module because it's plugged in the external pins at the back. And it begins writing the firmware. So let that go until that one's all done. Okay, so that's all done. So we'll turn off the transmitter. And we're good to go. Okay, so I'm running F port on this. So that's going to work good on F port. Um, it's showing here uh, my black I'll have a ground my 5 volt will go to uh, a 4v5 pin on the F722 wing board and the F port signal will go to a TX2 so the three wires I need to run the F port, I need the negative, the positive, and the S port. The um, smart port pin on your receiver, which is this green wire here, it becomes the F port output. So you connect the receiver's smart port pin to a free TX. I'm going to be doing it to uh, TX2 on my flight controller. So yeah, that's um, that's basically in a nutshell. You get it gets a little bit confusing um, the FR Sky stuff when you go um, when you start talking about inverted and uninverted. Um, it's the worst bit. I think that turns a lot of people off FR Sky um, stuff. It gets very confusing. I don't know why they've done it that way and why it still has to be that way, but. According to a couple of links I've got here it's saying the original inverted smart port um, F3, F7 boards it works on. Um, if you've got an F4 board you've got to hack it to become uninverted. So I'm not going to get into that because I don't fully understand it myself either. It's damn confusing. work out a length of the wire here so I'll just plug it in and um, it's a very tight fit for the two cables in here that's the only thing so run our wire along here the slim going in there I think um, We might cut it off about here, so we've got a bit of play here. I, I like to use a little blob, or not a little blob, but a, a blob of blue tack. When I solder, I find burying the wires into it helps helps to tin them up and solder them together. That's beautiful. There we go. So that's all wired up. 
It's all wired up, ready to fit. There you go. All right, so our wiring is all sorted. We will mount it in here. I'm going to hot glue it in. My aerials, I'm not too sure about yet. We'll put them through on the wing tip somewhere, I guess. They'll come through beautifully there. What I can do now, I think I might um might look at binding this and just see if we've got power and so we'll connect it up and we'll plug in the flight controller and power it all up. So let's go over to the Matec website um, and we'll have a look at the F722 wing wiring diagram. So here we are in the um, Matec website here. Uh, let's have a look. So you can see the F port receiver. This gives you a diagram of four of the receivers there with S bus and crossfire. So we're, do we're doing F port. So our ground will go to ground, our 5 volt goes to a 4V5 pin and a TX2 pin. And that's basically it. Yeah, so basically to do this I need to take the white signal wire out of this plug because it, it doesn't go right next to the positive on the flight controller. I get a signal in first, goes into the TX2. Let's plug it in and see what we have got. Hopefully we haven't got smoke. <laughs> so far so good. All right, so that's all good. What we've got to do next is go into into iNav and set a few things up in there first. This is all bound, so that's no dramas. It's all good. Okay, so I've got uh, I've got all my modes set up now on the transmitter and set in the flight controller now all the modes as well. Um, let's give it a quick test and see where we are at the moment with with our servo throws. Welcome to Open TF. Yeah, it's quite jittery. I've got to do some tuning though on the um, transmitter by the look. And a little bit more in iNav. Uh, my, my sticks are a bit wrong, so there's a bit of work there to still do. But other than that, everything's moving, everything is functioning. Um, what I'll do now is just set up, I'll, we're going to hot glue in the, the receiver and mount the aerials and that'll do it for the night. So that's pretty much it for the night, all I've got to do is mount the two aerials in, in position. Lovely. And um, yeah, that's all done. Receivers all sorted. So stay tuned for the next one. What we'll do in our next video, um, we'll probably look at mounting a camera. I'm going to run two cameras on this craft. One I can switch from view to view. That's the plan. One on top of the canopy and one at the ferry nose, which will be my main camera. So uh, until then, stay safe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now guys, see ya.